We are back. We are back for more Bond. This time we are going to watch the first ever true sequel to the franchise, and that is Quantum of Solace. Of course, the sequel to Senior Royale, the second film in the Daniel Craig era, the current era. And this is an interesting one. A lot of people think this film is rubbish. I don't. Like, here's the thing. When you have a movie that is nothing but brilliance, and then you come along with not a sane level of quality, people are going to say it's shit. But there are criticisms with this movie that, you know, when it comes along, I'm going to immediately address. But, this I'm a really cool car chase. <laughs> The one thing about this movie is it's editing. Like, it's one of those things where someone mentions it and you can't see it. Is count one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Like, even just for a talking scene, action wise, okay, you get it. But. Normally scenes like shots are there for three seconds so us the viewer can adjust what we're actually seeing two seconds are enough I know it's not seen a lot, but it, it's a lot We need that extra second uh, The music down on the store kills it I mean, this is a really good car chase. I won't, I won't lie. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just like, this is not a bad way to open your movie. <laughs> A little bit of music of uh, You Know My Name, that's kind of neat. And also, the one thing I will say is the tile cards, you know, the location cards that say, you know, Italy, London, um, Haiti, um, you know, fit the font fitting the setting really works. Now, everyone's favorite song. Um, it's a weird thing, isn't it? With with this era, which is brilliant song, not so much. Brilliant song, not so much. Now, I remember hearing this song on the radio, and here's the thing: it works well with the credits. It doesn't work well by itself. Um, you know, if it's just, it's just all over the place. Like, it, it people, if you don't know about this, uh, Shane Bassley, 
who of course did the songs for Goldfinger, Moonwenger, Diamond Self, whatever. Um, she did a song for this. Uh, was it the only, <sighs> Lonely Place to Die? I think the song is called, and that's fantastic. You know, it's a better this song. Another way, another way to die is a hell of a better song than the song that showed up in the cut the songs in the the tie-in video game of this movie. <laughs> I thought like this tire sequence, like I get it, you know, the return of the floating ladies, but w normally they weep with the theme, like it's seen way out, we're in poker. This is, we're gonna be in the desert a lot, so, bod in sand? I don't. Like in the like not the sh the longer version of this you get like and you're like okay no this is too much it just feels like it's too it's like two things merging together that shouldn't be. Now, here's the thing, this movie was under the whitest white, and so because of it, Daniel Craig and Mark Foster had to white scenes of extra scenes, and both of them admit they're not whites, so any scenes are a little bit iffy. You know what? You know what? This movie would start probably better if they started with this scene. I just picture. I just like. Probably, you know what? It'd probably be just a day of work. <laughs> it's probably the easiest page I'm even going to have made. It's like, hey, we just need you to. Take a picture with this guy for the for the movie, okay? Yep, good, okay, awesome. <laughs> Of course, this is who, this is what we wanted Bond to be at the end of Her Majesty's Secret Service, just looking for revenge. You know, being cold, it's hard to be the cold blooded killer. While in, di while diamonds are forever, it's like, oh yeah, just, you yeah, know, Blofeld gets killed within the first five minutes.
the weird thing about it, about Quantum is like I, I mean these quick shots of the horses is not needed. It is not needed. Like now, this I feel like this should be like should have been the opening sequence. Yeah, yeah, before the credits. I'll t I'll tell you when I think that when you play the title sequence and. Like the random pictures of the horses, like it's, it's it just feels like it's just there because oh we need to need to keep the audience attention. You got us attention. It's people. It's an action sequence. It's sh it's a foot chase. It's just so random, really. Like, that's how you introduce, like, oh, we're at the races. We're in Italy, we're in races, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, the, this movie has a lot because the Bond films were popular, so of course Bond is known for catching the, you know, adapting with the times, and of course that's how spy moves were made of of this quick cocking, speed, choppy action. I mean, here's the thing: the action is not horrible. But it is a bit. It's it's just a bit shaky. This this act this fight is pretty well done, and actually it's probably the best shot action sequence of the movie. Actually, when you think about Title sequence. After that gunshot, 
bum 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 like a picture of that. I don't know. That's how I would have it. Like the scene of this Bond, you know, scene again. Mister, you had to know that Mister White had to stay, or you know. But um, but yeah, a piece of dialogue could actually show to say, you know, but that could be followed in a show to tell anyway. One two, one two, one oh one two. Like seriously, this movie has a lot of one two, one two, not one two three, one two three. Clearly, this was meant to be Spectre. But we didn't have the white perspective, so we had to. F I have a feeling, because the single well wasn't that it was all ca it was all character based. It was all a lot of talking, not much punching and shooting. Um, there were probably criticisms who are like, "Bring that back! We want this shit blowing up," and and they were trying to mix the two, and while doing it. It's the classic thing of, you know, make everyone, trying to make everyone happy, you make no one happy, or some happy, or whatever. Like a stack of bills that leads to a certain location. Like, already we have a car chase, a foot chase, that, you know, let's call it just a foot chase, and we're soon going to get like a, 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 um, We're gonna have a fight. Like right now. <sighs> oh. You know, so this is this scene is just there to show Bond just doesn't really care, you know. And because they're all linked to Vesper's death, it's a sense of well, she's dead because of you, so uh, you know, I just don't really give two craps. 
I'm just like, don't care why you're bleeding or why you're bleeding. I'm just going to let you slowly die. Oh look, it's oh look, it's everybody's favorite MCU villain, Taskmaster. The most villain for the most flesh out MCU villain ever. I, I've been to see this. Remember when like, they were really pushing for Carlo with a Carlo and oh, was Carlo Carlo Ringo. As like the next big thing, like she was in Max Payne, she was in this, she was in Hitman, um, and they were kind of kind of pushing her to be like, then, but nothing really um, happened. Here's the funny thing, Gal Gadot. Uh, this is for this movie. Let's say this. She, good, good. She didn't because she wasn't that. She wasn't probably ready. Because <laughs> you know her first film was Fast and Furious, and we all know her her acting in those film. Yeah, you know, of that that fast fast four. We all know how not well acting she did in that film. So they probably immediately got the white the white person for the job. Well, he did say dead end. Um, this is a guy he knows for his puns. So literally, he was a dead end, and he's dead. So yes. Dominic Green probably is the taskmaster of Bond villains. It is just I want oil. I like it's just not an interesting. He's just not interesting. You know.
If he's one of the best, why kill it? I mean, yeah, it's bad information. Why well, Oblivion might not like that. I get you. I mean, here's the thing: if 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 the sex is good, like it should, it yeah you know, matter. Anyway, no, actually, yeah, it shouldn't matter because you you feel like you're getting trained and all that. I, I'm trying to think some joke, and I, I couldn't actually think of any. I'm just watching the movie right now. I mean, literally, these villains are just like, we want oil, we want, that's it, we want oil, um, and that's it. My organization, aka we can't say it at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally I I'm the last one who saw them alive. Like literally We are, what, f n nearly clocking 30 minutes in, and we had a car chase, a foot chase, a mini, f uh, a fight, and now we're going to have a boat chase. And we're in a span of 104 minutes. 106, sorry, 106 minutes. And we got like, what, five, like four more left? Like, it's absolutely, like, they're trying to make it quick pace, they're trying to make it one, two, one, two, and trying to be Jason Bourne, but, you know, it ain't.
I say shaky cam was kind of the norm back then, and then we were like, stop it. It's not, it's not realistic, it just, it's irritating. Like, you basically need the boat spinning. You don't need Bond speaking, Bond doing this. Isn't it? Okay, I want like that. That's a neat shot. But anyway, um, once again, it's not the most horrible shaky cam action I've seen, but it is that whole. It's out of situations where it's easier to watch it on like a TV or a computer than probably watching on the big screen because you know because you can kind of easily track the action really simpler. The worst thing about the music is this little version of the theme coming right now with, with, you know, with the hook. It's weird that we don't hear the theme often. Yeah, in these films. While in the first train, it's like... You know, we're going to have the theme playing every single spot. You know what I really enjoy is the puns, like the little jokes, like she's seasick. It doesn't come across as like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It comes across like, yeah, yeah, I, I need to create some excuse. Uh, she's seasick, okay? Here you go. Someone's dog on the roof. Hey, mate. Yeah, that one just feels a very generic word. It's a generic name. You know what's weird? It took me a while to realize that that Phoenix Lighter's like American friend is David Harbour. Which I was like, is that weird thing of like, wait, that's that and that's it. So you don't just have Taskmaster in this movie, you get with Guy in this movie. And you actually get the watcher in this movie, isn't it great? Yeah. 
and Batman and Gordon. Jeffy White has been voicing a lot of characters, the cardboard characters lately. Pretty much, I'm gonna give two dance. What you think? A couple of hours. I mean, the light. The, there's a little thing right there. There's a little TV right there. You can track it how far you have to go. Disappointed a girl chat. Hey, bud, stop with our mission. <laughs> like, that's good. That'd be nice, right? I mean, that is queer, it's just not... Yeah, he, he's valuing his career. It's just that, you know, he's very loyal to our main character, okay? Jesus. Jesus. Uh, H Hooper? That's my damn close, dude. That dude takes it, and to be fair, 
it probably would it fits more perfectly on him than than you do the the guy at the bottom to talk his clothes. Anyway. But he's like, well, just hopefully you don't kill him, because all he is, he's, um, Do you think he's dead or knocked out? I feel like he's knocked out. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's dead because <laughs> because of Terminal Dark. One, two. Okay, one, two, three. There doesn't get your three in there. Like one. <laughs> yeah, it's like really up on a public place. Yeah, what about underground lair? What about that? That could be more a little bit private. Like, Jesus Christ, we are, okay, there's a bit of a gap, there was like a 10 minute gap. Yeah, true. We are going to have a, in, a, in less than an hour, a car chase, a foot chase, a fight, a boat chase, and now a shoe out. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Like this, like I understand why people are finding this movie confusing or, and hard to follow the plot because constantly you're just getting boom, 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 axing, 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 and the breathing room are like five minutes or ten tops. I mean, I mean this. Like, I mean this action sequence. It 
is the artsy one. Where just cutting back and forth with the uh, I'm like this had the shoe out fluidly anyway. Why don't you just grab the guy's tie? No, 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 no. Well, what a grateful ch what a helpful chap. Of course, that didn't know how it went. He survived. Say, Bond's just motive. He says, like, dead eye. I don't give to damn. I'm going to get the people responsible, and it doesn't matter how many bodies I follow behind. I don't know, I don't think that's as bad of a, as a job as, say, the office lay, the, the hotel lay in the casino. But that's good, it's just, you know, you're going to get, going to get a call to say where I'm going to be. Simple. Yeah. It's not that, you know, out there. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you get tased, you retire. It's weird, right? You taught it's weird. Mephis tortures and, and imprisoned you and you and you're at his house having wine and having lunch together. It's so weird. <laughs> I mean, he did say the bitch is dead. It's a whole thing like, I'm over her, I don't give a shit about her, the bitch is dead, but I, but I still... Oh Jesus, the two just have a conversation, you don't need a far shell of the damn...
everything. He knows when he says the bitch is dead. He he, he doesn't act, he he doesn't truly mean it. Jesus. Yeah, you call it a Vespa. I mean, six lung pills. Anyway, can you wait or just want to you to sleep food the plane? Like this scene in the airplane, even though it doesn't look like an airplane, it looks like a hotel, but on the on the airplane is absolutely <laughs> the most, the most British, uh, Pasha, you're nothing, <laughs> nothing, <laughs> sorry, I don't know who you are, anyway, but anyway, the scene, that, that, that is a good, okay, break the action, time to, a good, let's have a scene between Bond and, and his emotions and all that kind of stuff, that's a weird good scene. Okay, that's a weird wall. The Kate, why is it up to Texas? The grandma is told the rest in peace. Oh, that, that, which side talks about the weed? Both on top. At least we know what C means. Nobody knows what C is. I feel like you may say the you may say Miss Fields doesn't know is chanting a feel agent. I I don't know why. I just I just went I just uh, Oh, so have you seen one single Bond movie where Bond stays in a crappy hotel? No, there's never such a thing. So this is like a law of Bond. Bond can never stay in a crappy hotel. <laughs> stay sorry. You know what's the one thing I do when I in a hotel room? And this is weird. I always check where the Bible is. That's what I do. 
It's weird. I, I I know a religious person whatsoever, but that's what I do. I always check where the Bible is. <laughs> Yay, Paddy! After say three you go. <laughs> I'm going to say puns. I'm, I'm going to say puns or references of the other worlds or the actors have been. I made a handful of Greta, the one with um her and um and uh, Jamie Werner. Remember that? Yeah. Oh. They know he's not taking care of the government. He only cares about the oil. The the, 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 the environment stuff is just stopping to dressing. We got a third villain. We are introduced to a third villain that we only meet like a minute. Like, seriously, you yeah, have a general character that we only see that, like for a minute and they just had to make a big deal of it anyway. I mean, technically you can. It'd be like, do I want to be with this guy? In business with this guy? He did X, Y, and Z. I don't know. It's called losing investments. I mean, I mean seriously, I mean you have I think people will figure X and Y when the rubble of, of it falls apart and then, then she falls Wow, dude, wow
Dude, that's a week. Get about a week, because that's horrible hair. Jesus, dude. Now, I assume what happened was, is that the Colonel drug Mathis. Yeah. They, they drugged him, planted him in the back of the truck. Now, this is... Like, this scene is when, if you're like, oh, Bond, you know, hasn't lost it, you know, he's, you know, he's just a little bit of terror. This is the scene that is like, guys, Bond has lost it, he's, he's off the woe, he doesn't care who gets hurt. You know, friends are the enemies, it's time to go, as M will closely say. The two scenes when, between Bond and Mathis... On the plane, this is actually really well done. So I'm just checking if, checking that the audio is still recording because a couple of times that um, there's been situations where like it would just cut off like a five minutes or an hour in or something. And you're like, oh crap, I had to do it over again. And I don't want to do that. I think it would. Just chucked him in a dumpster. Like trash. Like it, like it, he doesn't see the different. Well, it's just. And that's how I just think, just realized. This is the longest that we haven't had action secrets. It feels like the movie is actually starting to happen.
No, because it's probably what something he would do. <laughs> yep, very much. Right. I think See, okay, we are like 25, what, 20 years minutes. Good, well done movie. You started to calm yourself and and get a sense of character, plot and all that. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing about it. It's not really a dogfight because it's, you know, one has machine guns and one doesn't. Um, so it's basically just a chase sequence. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here's the thing about it. In the past, because there's been a lot of sh shaky cam or uh, quick cuts or whatever, this is like the first action sequence where we actually can, that it's just sweet. Like, we can 100% understand what's going on. But Green Train, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, that would still kill you because cause you didn't you know, slow, enough, slow down enough speed.
It's all about the politics, right? You know what? Actually, we cut that scene out. So when M shows up, it's like a bing do do moment. Mike, Mike gets to put that scene that just sort of passes the time and all that. Yeah, let M be Batman for a second. She just pops up. It's like, wait, where, 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 where you came from? Yeah, I, I think my guess because this is PG thirteen, we can actually go and say them, <laughs> say say those things. But we can have an idea. Now, if we had more scenes like this, you would be a very interesting Bond girl. But because we don't, we yeah 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 that that well interested interesting. Anyway. Of course, in the fire, of course, my guess, her as a child, probably lay on some hot wood or something and burnt it back, and so. Of course, those are stars. He builds a drought, and then he gets water, and then these people are like, we need water, and then Double Green could be, I can save the day, I'll give you your water, and then, yeah, here comes the business. Quite, quite the cause, so you, so you can make money out of the business. It's weird, all the editing decisions that I mentioned would make the movie even shorter. It's just the idea of a, like, nearly a 
like under a two hour Bond film is a little bit weird but you know one day it was going to happen and it was this one That's so like, you don't need to cut, just have her nod and, and then cut to the scene. Cause that's a little uh, golfing reference. A sec. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Okay, that's definitely a gold finger reference. For God's sake, instead of her being painting gold, she's painting the oil. Okay. I don't know, does this action sequence count as action sequence? No, I count that. The whole bond breaking the chain. Never break the chain. I just realized this first half is better than the sorry the second half is better than the first half because there's story and character and drama and stuff to care about and all that versus the first like 40 minutes which is nothing about blow up action sequence action sequence need to blow up shit it's like, it's like do you know do you really
Yeah, Felix is it's like Felix is like look we play poker on that one time that one time doesn't mean we're buddies oh. okay like, Jesus, just have a conversation, but okay, but they kind of did. Everything, everything. But I'm not gonna tell you that because of, because that will ruin my career. <laughs> oh, light. Oh, god damn. Yeah, you need to at least show that list of tongues because like doing the blah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, more than a minute. Two minutes. Three minutes. Also, I do think we do need a scene of having Mathis seeing the general getting Mathis drunk or, or drunk or whatever, however it is because the, basically just to flesh out this, this general character a little bit more Basically, what the train tells you and what the reality of it is just one shot make a count. Okay, three minutes. Okay, me four. Four tops.
Still no development. Just evil business guy. This is general guy. Two, two general evil guys in this movie, but anyway. No kind of environment whatsoever. Oh, you didn't sign it. Bows in my mouth and the wind is saying, ugh, that's, that's awful, that sounds awful. I mean, I, I don't know, I mean, actually that would be worse, because I would be that would be worse than having a starfish, you know, nipping on my face. Yeah. Suicide Squad joke, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, the the plan is, uh, yeah. I don't like this final act was exactly pretty pretty sweet. The hotel, uh, the hotel fight is just pretty. Well, he did, well, he did got bent. Well, at least he got weary of the wig. Let's say that. Ah, he just got weary of the wig. I got, that's kind of clever. Even though Dominic Green just going crazy with her axe, it is a little bit like, okay, dudes, come on a little bit. Give us a credit. It's like, there's no way Dominic Green can fight a fight Bond and have a like a, a decent match because he just doesn't. Oh, 
I guess yeah. I mean, they like the slightest toe. So now his toe is half slit. Ugh. You know, I could just drop. You know, I'm holding you by by your hair, right? I could just drop you, but I'm not going to because I realize I don't have to kill everyone. Like, there are good moments in this movie, and I am enjoying this film. But it's like a taking it while watching it. You're like, oh, okay. There's a maybe a, a bit of problems with this film. Just a little bit. Just some dots. Really? That that explosion we want to push you back, huh? The winds on that explosion put up a grade off. Now he's back on limping. You may expect it. But we can't say it because I don't have the lights yet to, to inspect it and blow it and all that kind of stuff. Oof. That would be a painful way to go. Drinking. Oh, that would be. Oh, jeez. But it probably would be also, it, you know. At least Quantum d would just shoot you in the head. At least that's a, a option. At least that's a choice. You get shot in the head. Or. Get your. Insights getting burned. Ugh. I don't know <laughs> which way is worse to go. You know, also, what this movie also is worse that, that hey, there's a here's your main bongo. There's two bongos, one's gonna die midway. And and nine out of ten, Bond, and the second one at the end, Bond's gonna be in bed with them, with both of them. This is a film that says Bond doesn't need to sleep with all of them. You know what I mean? And definitely in the point of time in this movie, in the context. Like, 
the context of the scene. It would make sense if out of the blue they had the oh my god we just made it. Yeah. this whole ending scene this last scene of Bon fronting Vesper's boyfriend and him realizing he doesn't need to kill him <laughs> Fred, a little bit more than friends. Here's the thing, what do you think happened? Do you think Bond just beat him up a little bit? Torture him for information? Yeah? Okay, so yeah, to quantify them. About about Vespa, about what exactly? I was going to say something about the same. A part of what would happen is just like Bond boy wants to know why. And then knowing the why, he just moves on. Oh, that, that, that's, okay, that's a quick gun battle. That is, okay, we need to, we'll, you're even quick fasting the gun battle, which is weird as hell. Really weird. Um, but anyway, that is the end of Quantum Solace. Soon we'll talk about Stifle.